During the pandemic, many people are getting their groceries delivered. That's giving a big boost to a business right here in Hampton Roads. And it says even more about a growing movement in our workforce. Here's more on the gig economy. Every Thursday morning, you can find Sarah Leland here at the Greenbrier Mall parking lot with a pallet of fresh vegetables, tomatoes and peppers, divvied up trunk to trunk. Then she's heading out on her route. It's something that I take time to do because I think it matters. Sarah is a self-proclaimed veggie fairy, delivering those boxes of regional produce and fresh food door to door. Seasonal Roots is the company behind it. Which is community supported agriculture. But Sarah is also part of a bigger movement that's taken off during the pandemic. You may have heard of the gig economy where many traditional jobs suffered, side gig jobs like ride sharing, e-commerce, and in Sarah's case, food delivery, have remained strong. Gig economy wages and participation grew 33% in 2020. That's according to Business Wire. As a side hustle, you know, it's been more than I ever thought it would be because it really just has been booming. <laughs> Booming is right. Sarah's more than tripled her customer base. And even with vaccines and people getting out more, it hasn't slowed down. To the extent that some weeks I'm like, I mean, it would, would have been nice to have an easy week this week. I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> and the gig movement is only expected to get stronger. Many economists predict this kind of flexible, untraditional employment will continue to shake up the country's workforce. Software company Intuit, even reporting 80% of major U.S. companies will lean heavily on gig workers like Sarah in the next few years. And while gig economy jobs are convenient for a lot of workers, they aren't the most lucrative, at least for now, with the majority of gig workers earning less than $50,000 a year. Mm. Well, that's it for us at 430.